Hi everybody! As promised, we start this series of gameplays with Dark Out, a nice looking 2D HD survival sandbox game with strategy and RPG components. The first thing we see is the main menu with the character and options choice. About the character, we, we are going to create a character and all our progresses will be tied to this character in the, in the world we are creating now and also in the next worlds we, we play with this character. And yeah, we will name the, the world uh, and then also we can choose the size and the, the world number is a kind of a seed number we give to the, to the game to generate a unique world so everybody who introduces the same number will get the same world as we are getting with this world number one that's randomly generated and let the game surprise us the first time you, you are going to, to create a world it will take a little bit longer because it's, it's generating everything um, but the next time it, it will be faster well it seems that we landed on this strange planet and we have here the, the crash spot where we were traveling and yeah, if we do right click on it we will see a menu with a lot of stuff like combinator, like uh, several tools to work if we do right click and shift over the object the object will go directly to our action bar and if we do left click it will go directly to our inventory so as you can see here there are there are like weapons like pistol and, and several incendiary bullets also we have uh, tools for mining for chopping trees and lantern flares and a used battery that I don't know exactly what it's for I recommend you to, to select the first lot with all option because it, it's very comfortable that you will always click this left button in the mouse and it will go right to the to the proper tool to use with the material you are selecting you are going to work on and also selecting the torch as a secondary item in this first lot is very comfortable because you can go mining and, and working on different materials and uh, to, to make your way through and also at the same time you are using the right button to illuminate your world also to defeat some enemies you will find here we have a, a jellyfish that we can kill let's try yeah and we get some blue thing I don't know exactly what it is we will say we will know in the future and yeah with the with we can also chop our crash pot as you can see here doing most will and shift we can do a zoom in zoom out that will allow us to see these enemies that are close to us but, but they can perceive our our presence is a yeah uh, now we we are going to chop the rest of the pod that's very nice things we can find inside plenty of objects and materials that will be useful for us in, in the next uh, steps in the game to build our base Also, if we press C, we can see the crafting menu with every group of objects we can craft. Yeah, from ammo to boosters to jump higher, something like that. Building blocks we can create to yeah to do some constructions or some structures. 
made from different materials yeah from glass to walls made of stone wood yeah also we have we can create in the future platforms wooden platforms like in terraria for example also we have torches yeah and resources yeah one thing about resources is that we are going to to need this dirt that that uh, we get when we start to mine the floor chopping trees is very easy you will get as much logs as the size of the tree you are chopping We can see how the fire of our pot is uh, disappearing. It has, yeah, just, just finished, the f just stopped. And yeah, what what we are going to do now is to save the game. If you select the save your world option, it's uh, how what you ha what you have to do to to save everything you you collected, you created, all the structures, pretty much everything. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, now I am I am in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's really dark because now the the pod is not anymore. It's not there anymore. Or and also the the fire uh, is uh, extinguished, and that's why we put a torch on the floor. To place a torch on the floor we have to select to place a torch on the floor we have to press left shift key and right mouse button. Also to remove the torch you have to do exactly the same. Shift, left shift and right mouse button again over the torch. So first thing we are going to do is yeah place this torch to help us to, to, to see something and dig deep inside the earth and create our own road to mine a little bit and, and get those sand and, and, and materials on the ground. One thing also that you have to take into account is that pressing M you will select if you want to mine in one unit of ground or three units of ground because sometimes uh, it's better to go mining one unit and do a small hole on the ground and not go like uh, destroying more ground than you want to also it takes longer when you are mining three three places or th three three units of, of ground than when you are only doing it on one Okay, so yeah, also we, we got sand. Sand is nice to make a glass, for example. That will be a good thing in the future to make windows, for example, for, for our base. Yeah, as you can see here, we, we are now using the shovel to, to get the sand and also to remove the dirt and now it's automatically automatically using the pickaxe
yeah, we got some a couple of units of copper ore right to our inventory automatically. They go there. Okay, let's see what's that. Also, let's see what we can do with these pieces we got. With this coal ore unit. Yeah, we have different groups of things we can craft with the recipes. Then I'm looking for a recipe with coal ore. Yes, sand. Yes, yeah, sand from the glass. But uh, I I don't have the furnace. I have to to craft a furnace and place it in in you know in my base. And once I have it, I can create this glass made of sand. Well, let's go forward. Let's collect some more coal or units I'm looking around to see, oh, there is something there, I don't know what it is, but perhaps it will be nice to place a torch and go down. Let's go down. Seems to be like stone, some kind of stone. It's shiny, it's glowing. It's not possible to see what it is until you really get, get there and mine it and they, you got the unit. So yeah, that's a kind of a um, thing you, you, will, you will see in the game that will, it's kind of mysterious. <laughs> Some, mm, because in this way I feel like, uh, yeah, I have to, to, to bother and really, really explore until I get there it's more rewarding in, in some sense to to go there and and then see what you got what is this thing glowing that uh, looks interesting yeah more things there's some murals there but well it's, it's, they are longer they are further uh, Okay, let's take it back. Take the torch because yeah, I don't know when I will be able to build more torches. It's better to save them for the future. Okay, so that's enough for today. We saw how to mine, how to place things in in our inventory action bar, more or less how to survive in the game, and uh, yeah, combat. Uh, then. I will, uh, we will see how to build things and yeah, further, we will sp uh, explore further in the next episodes. Thank you very much and hope to see you in the next episodes.